Hey guys, it's Colette with Embroidery Adventures, and I was recently asked how I embroider on toilet paper without it shredding. Okay, probably the most important thing is picking your toilet paper. You want to pick out something that is more paper-like than plush. Plush, uh, your stitches will sink into the toilet paper and will cause a lot more fuzz in your bobbin area. So I picked this up at Dollar Tree, uh, currently $1.25 for four rolls. Other things you will need are cutaway stabilizer, a glue stick, and two straight pins. Okay, so you're going to start by unrolling your toilet paper and getting to the spot where they've attached it here. Get past that and tear that section off. Okay, now I'm going to unroll quite a bit of toilet paper here. So I'm going to take the first three squares and let me back that up just a little bit and fold that over on top of itself and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it over again. So I will have three squares, three deep. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to straighten up my edges. Now that I have my toilet paper three squares, three deep, or three layers of three squares, I'll roll just a little bit more, and then I've hooped my uh, cutaway stabilizer, and I'm going to center the toilet paper on top of it, and then I'm going to take two straight pins and put one on either side. like that. As you can see I have placed my hoop on my machine and I just want to show you that the toilet paper is still connected to what's on my hoop. I have unrolled enough that it's loose and will move with it and I just set the roll off out of the out of the way of the embroidery arm so that it doesn't get knocked off. Today I am test stitching a custom request. Um, a customer asked me to add their high school name to the end of my uh, graduation toilet paper and change the colors up to their school colors. Once you've taken it off the machine, you need to trim your jump stitches and clean up the back a little bit. 